Ladies and gentlemen, behind me is the brand new $90,000 Tesla Model X. And it is only one of, well, two cars, the other one being the Model S, in the world that has a bio defense mode. And in this video, we're gonna show you what that means because according to Tesla, the bio defense mode is good enough to keep out viruses from the cabin. So Tommy, you ready to show them? Yep. All right, let's go do it. Th this, is, this is what a normal car filter looks like. It's really, really quite small. Um, this is the primary air filter of the Model X. This is the, sec this is the secondary air filter. Our secondary air filter is bigger than the primary air filter of a typical car. That translates to a, a several hundredfold improvement in the filtration capability. This bio defense mode that we're talking about is actually built into the climate control in the Model X. So let's see what that looks like. When I open up the climate control, it looks pretty standard to most climate controls on the market. Up here, you've got your power button. You also have AC, uh, recirc, auto functions, um, heated seats, you got your heated steering wheel, your defrost, and then of course you can position where the air flows. But one mode that is different than just about every car on the market is this little hazard mode right here. And when you click that, it does a number of things that make the vehicle prepped for all sorts of particles that you may encounter as you drive along. Let's take a look at the owner's manual. So I have to go up here to my T, owner's manual, climate controls. Let me scroll down here. There you can see the little bio defense mode number five. And it says, if your Model X is equipped with the bio weapon defense mode feature, the HEPA or high efficiency particle air filter ensures the best possible quality of air inside the cabin. When selected, outside air is filtered through the medical grade HEPA filter in addition to the secondary filtration systems. The HEPA filter is extremely effective at removing particles including pollution, allergens, bacteria, pollen, mold spores, and viruses. Both the HEPA filter and the secondary filtration system also contain activated carbon to remove a broad spectrum of odors and gases. When you engage biodefense mode, the fan operates at the highest speed. In addition, the positive pressure inside the cabin minimizes the amount of outside air that can leak into the vehicle. So there's a couple of things here that we can really dive into. So the Tesla Model X has a massive HEPA filter that lives right here behind the frunk. And it's a pretty big operation to take it out. So we're not gonna do it in this video, but when this car was launched, Elon actually held it in his hands and you'll see that it's giant. I think probably, if not definitely, it is one of the largest HEPA filters in any automotive or car application. And Tommy, according to the government, what does a HEPA filter do? This HEPA filter, or any HEPA filter for that matter, actually has to conform to a certain standard outlined by the Department of Energy. And that standard says that the filter must remove 99.97% of particles whose diameter is equal to 0.3 micrometers. Now a micrometer is one one thousandth of a millimeter. And to give you an idea of how small that is, pollen or mold spores are about 7 to 70 micrometers. A dust mite waste is 5 to 20 micrometers and auto emissions are one to three micrometers. So 0.3 is a really, really tiny particle. Viruses have a large range in sizes depending on the type of virus. So even though Tesla says that the HEPA filter will stop most viruses, it says most viruses on purpose. Now you may be wondering about the current virus and according to the New England Journal of Medicine, the virus ranges in size from 0.06 micrometers to 0.14, which is smaller than 0.3, but some HEPA filter manufacturers will tell you that through a process of diffusion, uh, a HEPA filter can actually capture much smaller particles than 0.3 of a micrometer. So there really is no definitive answer to whether or not a HEPA filter will capture the current virus. It's also worth noting that the World Health Organization says the disease can spread from person to person through small droplets from the nose or mouth which unless someone's coughing directly into the cabin of any car makes this whole thing kind of questionable. So will this HEPA filter and this Tesla Model X filter out the current virus? And of course the answer is not straightforward. It's maybe. It's kind of like this N95 mask. It will filter out most viruses, but depending on how you wear it, depending on how you position it on your face, 
it may or may not filter out the current virus. So, the one thing that I think we can be certain of is that, like wearing a face mask, actually having this massive HEPA filter certainly does more good than bad. There are two things that happen when you activate bio defense mode, and they're both important. First, the air is coming through the HEPA filter, hopefully filtering out all the pollutants, allergens, and viruses that are floating around out there. But let me show you the other thing that happens, and this is just as important. So I hit my bio defense button, and all of a sudden, the fan goes to 11. No, it goes to 10. So with the fan at 10, supposedly, we've got positive pressure inside the cabin of the Tesla Model X. And what is that doing, Tommy? Why is positive pressure important? Well, basically, in any car, you know, when you open the door, you've got a huge hole. Um, but when you close the door, there have to be seals along the door, seals in between the panels and the windshield. And if there's any kind of gaps in those panels, because it's not perfectly sealed off, air can flow in. So by creating positive pressure, by increasing the fan to max, in theory, you're preventing outside air from coming into the cabin. Yeah, so what's happening is, the outside air with any pollutants, viruses, allergens, whatever is being filtered through the HEPA filter and then it's being forced into the cabin and it's not allowing any other air particles or whatever to come in through those seals, keeping us hopefully safe and virus free. So is Tesla's bio defense mode a good solution in difficult times like this. Well, you know what it's like? It's really like wearing one of these inside your car without a HEPA filter. And since this car does have a HEPA filter and positive air pressure, I don't have to wear this in the car. And yes, it does make me feel good because let's face it, in these uncertain times, anything that gives you a little bit of certainty is a good thing. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Car. Check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and of course, Tesla Model X Bio Defense Mode reviews. See you guys next time. Ciao.